Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Today I would like to talk about some of my favorite features of Gurbani Media Center by Sicknet. This is a mobile application that is available both on iOS and Android, and it allows you to listen to your favorite ragis, kirtanis, kathavachuks, Gurbani part, and more, all from your mobile device. Now, you can open the app and just search for your favorite ragi, and then click on their name, and you will see a list of their popular tracks or albums that you can go ahead and listen to right through this application, just like this. So if I click on the title of one of these Shabads, it'll immediately start playing. And one of the coolest things about this app is that it actually shows you the words, the Shabad and the translation right inside the app. So that means you don't have to go to a separate application to read the words if you don't know what they are, you're not familiar with the Shabad or you're wondering what it means. So while you're listening to this track, So while you're listening to this track, you can actually make the Shabad full screen and read the translations and you can even change the sizes and what you want to show or what you don't want to show. So it's basically a, a Shabad app within the Gurbani music player, which is really great. They also have album art that shows the ragis or the kirtanis that you are listening to. Now another really cool thing about this player is that it actually has a sleep timer built in, which means you can put some pa or kirtan on at night and say, hey, I want this to pause or stop after 30 minutes. So you press play, you put this timer on, and after 30 minutes, it will automatically pause or stop once you're asleep or once you're done with whatever you need to do. Now, if you find various tracks, you can also favorite them and add them to your library by pressing this little heart icon right here. And you can see your queue or your playlist. Right now, I'm playing all of Pai Harjinder Singh Ji's Shabads. When you go to the main page of this app, it will show you your recently played artists right in the top over here like this. And it also shows you featured tracks. So this is great because it helps you discover new Shabads, new Gurbani, new recordings that you may not have heard of or would have found otherwise. Sort of like how YouTube or other applications bring new content to you. What I also like about this app is that if you click browse on the bottom, it actually helps you find content organized into categories like Bart, Nitanim Barnis, or Nam Simran, or Morning Sleep. So you can use these to find different things like Katha or audiobooks and group set up like this for you. Rag, the Mim Kirtan, classic old recordings, and different types of Kirtan and recordings just like this. You can also find all the artists that they have and you can type in a name or view the whole list and you can click on someone and then see the list of their recordings as we discussed earlier. One of my favorite things about this app is the My Library feature. So beyond showing the tracks that you recently played, you can also add tracks to your library. So the Shabbos that I've listened to or I like, I press the heart, they appear in this list and I can go back and replay them again and again without having to go find them somewhere else or start searching for them all over again. When you find an artist you like, you can press follow. So now they're on your list of followed artists and you can find them again later. And you even get to learn a little bit about the artist and find their other tracks and albums and even similar artists which are suggested to you. Another wonderful thing about this app is the notification that allows you to pause and play the track or seek to a specific time without having to actually open and go to the app. You can do it all from the notification and you even get to see the album art or a picture of the artist. The Gurbani Media Center app also has the live radio feature built in. So if your Gurdwara has a live radio broadcast and it's available on Sicknet, you can just listen to it right through this app. That means you don't need to download a separate app, you don't need to go to the website. You can go down and play the live broadcast and listen to the program from your Gurdwara Sahib right here at home, or listen to live Kirtan from Darbar Sahib. I think one of the best reasons for using this app is simply because you can play audio 
and turn your phone screen off. A lot of people use YouTube to listen to Kirtan now, but their problem with YouTube is you get ads and you're watching a video when sometimes all you need is audio and you can't play with your screen off. But in this app, you can continue listening to the audio with your phone screen off so you're saving your battery and you can have your phone on the desk, in your pocket, anywhere else. And you can continue listening to the audio without having to download it, without having to save it in your phone and fill up your phone space or without having to be interrupted by annoying ads. So I highly recommend you check out Gurbani Media Center on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and discover new Katha Kirtan and Gurbani Media. Vaigurji ka khalsa, Vaigurji ki fateh.